You all know that the state is in a severe financial crisis. Recently, the governor came to the state treasurer's office and asked that they shave at least $140,000 off their budget. Kate Marshall said, certainly, by the way, I found $70 million that was on the books that my predecessor didn't find. How did she find it? She has a crew devoted to finding unclaimed property in the state of Nevada. They worked 12 hours a day until they found $17 million of unclaimed property that she then gave to people like me and you that didn't even know we had it coming. The next $17 million went to the Millennium Scholarship Fund. And all so far, she's found over $70 million that was in within the state that was sitting there waiting to be claimed that she's found as a result of hard effort and long hours. Many of you remember two years ago we came to this event and other events and every place we went we saw Kate Marshall and we thought does the woman ever sleep? Well I've talked to her employees she's still not sleeping she's driving them to 12 hour days and as a result she's probably the best state treasurer we've ever had. Salute to Kate Marshall. She was also the first one to recognize that we didn't have a plan in place to identify whether or not the money that she invests for us as Nevada taxpayers goes into any organization that might end up on the federal terrorist watch list. Are there businesses, are there entities, are there governments that are enjoying uh, investments from the citizens of the state of Nevada? Kate Marshall was the first one to ask, the first one to compare the list, and the first one to start pulling money out of terrorist organizations. Thank you, Kate Marshall. When Kate Marshall goes to run for re-election in, is it two more years, Kate? Yes, I still have some time. <laughs> Whether she runs for re-election, state treasurer, whatever, her plans are in the future. Don't forget how hard she worked to get elected and, probably more importantly, how hard she worked once she got there. She's a public servant that any party can be proud of, but certainly the Democrats are. Thank you, Kate Marshall. I'm your state treasurer, and the first thing I want to say to you people is thank you. And there, there's a reason I begin that way. First, I'm Kate Marshall, okay? I worked my way through parochial high school, through college, through law school. I manage my family's checkbook, and let me tell you, it's hard when you have a, a frugal husband like I do. I have two daughters that I'm raising, and gas is over four bucks a gallon, and milk is not far behind, and that's my life. I do laundry on Sundays after I leave here. The second thing I wanted to tell you is my name is Kate Marshall and I'm your state treasurer. We handle your money. My office has filled in some of the state budget gaps. I don't know if you guys realize that to the tune of about $60 million. And we spend a lot of time coming up with some new solutions to get back stale paychecks, uh, missing insurance claims, other types of missing money in terms of unclaimed property back into your hands because I think all you're asking for is an honest deal. And lastly, I say to you, thank you because you got behind me when I was a two-to-one underdog and I won. And so now I'm your state treasurer. So thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Many of you, I think, uh, might have gone to the Democratic State Convention in Reno. And if you were there, you heard me talking about the fact that I think people these days are really hungering for change in leadership and for a real change in direction. And there's a reason for that. Look at where we are, people. The dollar's at an all-time low. Gas is at an all-time high. Home prices in the toilet, food prices up, health care is a problem, education is a problem, our veterans are t getting the shaft, and we're in a war, quite frankly, we can't figure a way out of. We got problems. If ever there was an argument to be made for real change in leadership, for a real change in direction, now is our time. Look at where we are in Nevada record foreclosures for the eighth month in a row. Nevada has been number one in the nation. I guess you don't hear that very often. Number one in the nation for foreclosures, people. We have hepatitis scares, okay? We have too many deaths on construction projects in Vegas. The state budget's in a free fall, I can tell you that from personal knowledge. And we have a governor 
who is divorced from reality. That's just the way it is. If ever there was an argument to be made for real leadership, for a real change in direction, now is our time. Now is our time. Can we? Can we get out of this economic slump where you're not having a hard time filling up your truck just so you can get to work? Can we get out of this mess where middle class people can't afford the medical care that they need? Well, I'm here to tell you that you were there for me. Well, I'm here to tell you that you were there for me. You made the difference. You got behind my campaign and we won. My opponent outspent me three to one. It was only you people. If you want change, you bring it home because it's all about you. You can do this. You know, there will be nothing that will happen in the state Senate unless you get behind Senator Horsford and make it so that he has a majority in our state legislature on the Senate side. This is up to you, and yes, we can do this. There will be no access to medical care unless you get behind Speaker Buckley and help her make sure that we have a veto-proof majority in the Assembly. And yes, we can do this. This is what we do. It is your power that will send Jill Derby to Washington, D.C. as our voice. It's you. And it is you who can change the direction of America, who can make our future more secure and more prosperous for my children and for your children, from mi casa to you casa. This is in your hands. We can do this. Yes, we can. America is hungering for a change. You did it for me. They are asking you to be there again for them. Will you do it again for them? And I know you can, because I'm standing right up here. And if that, you guys remember, I had no stickers, no t-shirts, no billboards, no TV. So it was all you, and we are asking you again to get up here and help us and make Senator Obama the next president of the United States, ladies and gentlemen. This is up to you. Thank you, and God bless you, because I know you were there for me, and I know you'll be there for him. Thank you very much. We got a little map up here at Douglas County. This map is divided into seven sections. Here's what happens. This is how you work grassroots, people. This is how you do it. If you want to say, well, I don't know what I can do, here, here's what you can do. Find out which section you live in and sign up to participate. They're going to break Douglas County down into seven sections. They're going to have a head for each section. Each section will have subsections, and you'll have, do you remember those little welcome wagons? You'll have about 20 people or so that you'll be able to go out and touch base with because people need to hear from people in their neighborhood about which way to go. If they hear that you're for Senator Obama, they feel more comfortable than they're for Senator Obama, okay? Remember, no t-shirts, no stickers, no billboards, no TV. How did I get there? Because you you told your friends that this I was okay. So come up here and sign up. Find out which little area you're in. Sign up and we'll do the same thing for Senator Obama and he'll take Nevada, believe it or not. Battleground state, it'll go his way. Thank you. You're watching Dancing on the Ranch, Douglas County Democrats annual barbecue.